G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel at Bonsai Works. I'm David. Today I have something a little unusual um, from my normal trees. The reason it's unusual, it's um, not only it's not a shimpaku juniper or a trident maple or a black pine, it's a form of spruce. Now, it's actually a very miniature spruce. So it's not a Picea, um, Picea abis, it's some other form of spruce. So I'd love to know if anyone can actually identify that. It's absolutely so small, such small little foliage, uh, small little needles, whatever you call them. Really tiny. See how nice and compact that growth is? It's a really nice little guy. Um, could be a graft because of this this here, down here, but I'm um, not 100% sure, but it's a really lovely little um, uh, spruce, very small foliage, very tiny foliage. Um, it's got this weeping nature, which I really love. It's actually nice and you can see this nice little weeping weeping structure on it. It's quite nice and natural. Um, but obviously we're going to improve this tree and that's that's the point of this video. Um, I do like the slant it's on. I think I think it is some na nice natural form. But um, this tree looks a bit damaged. Now you probably can see nice and close here. There's been some damage on this trunk part. Damage down here. So what I'd like to do is run some shari actually. Along, along here and create a shari along the trunk. Um, so there's a few gins here we can create as well, they're, they're dead as well, but some nice nice shari somehow around this trunk and, and into here and have the live vein probably on both sides going going up the trunk. That's that's the first thing I'll do on this tree. Um, I do like this because it's exposing this trunk and you can see this lovely nice little amount of foliage. It's almost, it's almost a naturally styled tree, quite, quite natural. Um, this side isn't as good. You can see the bit of the reverse taper here, which doesn't look the best and, and the foliage is a bit too heavy and unruly at the back. So you can see that I like this end more um, Especially if we can get some nice shari work to hide this this here, this bump here. So I'll get some nice shari work Maybe up the trunk snakes up Maybe exposes that comes around but first things first I use some chalk I try and outline what I think you know can chalk you can rub off if you're not 100% sure but once you start cutting in, that's it. So really you want to come up with the design and some interest using chalk. Um, that's what I do. You can use a texture, but you know, if you don't like that, you can't really rub it off. So <laughs> chalk is um, the way to go. So that's the first thing I'll do. I'll have a look at this tree, see what, see um, where I want to mark the shari. And that's what I'm going to do now. So probably a bit hard to work out because I'm using a very light coloured um, chalk but um, I've got it pretty much starting around here working its way around these nodules that have died off coming behind the tree and then coming back out to the front and down the trunk so fortunately the green, the light coloured chalk just makes it even whiter <laughs> and didn't really work there but um, anyway the, the process is you, yeah, you outline outline what you want first and then try to come up with design and you can see I was trying to rub off bits that I was incorrect so I want to get more movement in so trying to clear that section and wrap it around so going going down the trunk going around towards the back a little bit then coming back out and finishing towards the front that's the plan so now I'll get my nice sharp knife and outline that that edge and uh, we keep working through
So, a bit hard to see, but the show work's been done. We'll have a better look at it later when the lighting's a bit better. But um, you can see the nice car in into the trunk. I didn't go all the way down. I'll let, try and let that die off by itself. And I went up to here where, where I thought it was a bit dead. But um, this is alive. It was alive, so it's understandable. But actually, it looks pretty good now. It takes away this reverse taper that was here before, which is ideal. And now it's a matter of... Now it's really just styling the tree. Now, I don't want to go too nuts with why. I like the natural feeling of how it's weeping. So a lot of these branches I'm going to keep natural. Maybe I'll just improve a few more pieces up here just to get it to droop a bit more on this side to match that side. But I like the natural feel of it. It's actually quite a nice little spruce that looks natural. But I'd love to ID it, um, if anyone knows what it could be. It's a very, very small um, needle. Um, yeah but i'm gonna get stuck into putting a bit of wire in this tree nothing too fancy just a bit to, to as i said bring things around i'll see what i can i'll see what happens with taking things off but it's a good, nice little tree at the moment and just yeah plodding along all right we'll have a look into how it goes after wiring so i've um completed the wiring and um you can see it's, I've left it quite natural. You can see the drooping foliage that I've tried to create a lot of the droopiness and the, the nice, um, the natural feel of this tree. And I've um, hopefully achieved that. It's a nice little tree. Now you can probably see the shari a little bit better uh, with the lighting. I don't know how it's gonna go, but we'll see. But you can see the nice shari running, running, um, running along the trunk and nice curls around, curls to the back, comes around to the front and back out again. Now, I like to try and let it dry out a little bit more before I apply lime sulfur, <coughs> excuse me, but I'll put lime sulfur on that and make it nice and white and um, it should finish off the job. But pretty pretty simple, but nice little tree, nice small foliage. Look, look, that's what you should try and try and, um, try and and do with bonsai. Look for foliage that's quite um, interesting. This In this case, this tree has got very small, interesting drooping foliage. It looks very natural, weeping style with very small foliage. The small foliage, is, is massive for this tree it really makes a huge difference then try and eliminate put some shari in there to try and uh, eliminate some boring boringness boring boring part of this tree was the straight trunk so having a bit of um having a bit of um shari running down the tree really enhances the tree a bit more tells a bit more of a story uh and so on um a very interesting pot i like the look of it i'm just going to probably just reposition that i think i might want to reposition it very very slightly to about there just ever so slightly looks like it's a little bit falling over at the moment but if just repositioning it in the pot um, tying it in and pretty much that's it um, back on the benches and let it grow along but um yeah I think come up really nicely you know look, very important to look for good features when you're looking to buy trees um, look in the nurseries I mean nurseries have lots of different interesting things Bonsai nurseries, of, of course, a specialty, specialty, but yeah, sometimes you find these little gems. Um, but I'd love an ID. If someone knows what it is, hit me up in the comments. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and see you next time.